to This Sustainable Life, Nature and Spirituality. This is my first solo episode and it's an attempt to explain the reason why I changed the theme of my podcast to its current name. Why nature and spirituality? Well, for the simple reason that I want to save the world. Or more correctly, I would love for our planet to be safe from destruction and that the natural world, humans included, would thrive again. Initially, I wanted to focus on increasing biodiversity and wild natural habitats on our planet. And then I realized that the main ingredient for that to happen is to show humans that the reason why we busy destroying our own home, our own planet, is because we believe all our thinking is real. We believe our own fearful thinking and then have fearful feelings as that's how thinking works. And this leads us to doing really terrible things. If instead, we could just realize that our thinking has nothing to do with reality, that thought comes and goes, nothing needs to be done about it. It's when we stop paying so much attention to our thinking that we have better access to our wiser part, our inner guidance or deep nature. And anything that comes from inner guidance would, by definition, not create destruction and fear. Nope, it would create peace, joy and love. And that is ultimately what every person is truly looking for. All the actions we take in our daily lives are motivated because we believe that in doing them, somehow, this will lead us to feeling happy, or happier. What I noticed in my own life, before I was made aware of the three principles, was that spending time in wild nature was one of the quickest ways to reconnect to my inner peace, joy, love and well-being. I mentioned the three principles. In a nutshell, the principles talk about the fact that we experience the feeling of our thinking about life, that we believe is true, and we don't actually experience life itself directly. The good news is, if you're not particularly enjoying the present moment, then realizing that you're paying attention to your thinking and that it's not real, allows you to stop paying attention to your thinking. And that makes space for the deeper wisdom part of you to pop into your awareness. And that always feels calm, peaceful, true and right. When we take action from that peaceful place, it allows our lives to transform. We are only ever just one thought away from a totally new reality. So, to summarize, stop believing your monkey mind thinking that is continuously streaming as that will make space for insight to pop up. And notice, we are all having an inside-out understanding of life. It's not the external circumstances of life that affects our experience of life. It is our internal thinking that is creating our experience of life. I mentioned that before my awareness of the three principles, and I will add a link to the definition of the three principles as explained by Sid Banks down below. Uh, as I said, I had realized that I always felt better when spending time in nature than when I wasn't. And this could seem to contradict my previous statement that external circumstances do not dictate our experience. But the way I explain this is that when we spend time in nature, we naturally become more aware of what our five senses are relaying to our minds, which drops us into the present moment and that also bypasses our habit of paying attention to our thinking, and therefore it also gives us access to insight, peace, inner guidance, the energy of life, God, or whatever you prefer to call it. So, what exactly is the aim of this podcast? My hope is that by having conversations on the nature of life, and reminding everyone how beneficial nature is to us, as she provides absolutely everything we need in order to live and thrive, we will fall deeply in love with Mother Earth again, with our own deep nature, and live sustainably from that place of inner wisdom rather than following the chaos of our thinking. Plus, there is the added sustainability challenge to entertain my guests and our listeners in the hope that more people will enjoy acting sustainably for the fun of it rather than coming from a place of heavy responsibility. That is my wish to all of us. 